Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this graphic. It is a called a dart, but it's a JPEG. It's a picture. And they want to know how to draw that. I really think it would probably trace pretty well, but that doesn't really help them draw anything. So if we, uh, to do this the way I would do it myself, I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to bring in an indexing line. I'm going to hit P. And you see the dart's not perfect. But that doesn't really matter. We're going to move the dart to that indexing line or pretty close. And then we're going to just take a two-point line. And we're going to go from that indexing line outwardly, and we're actually going to go past. And then snap on that node and then go past. I mean, we're halfway there. Now we just need to find out this circumference. But I'm just going to take an ellipse, holding down the control button, and I'm going to put it in that. Wow, I got pretty close. So let's look at this a little closer. I mean, that's. Let me set my nudge factor on something pretty little. It is. I'm going to nudge that thing down and over. So I'm a little bit off on my, so what we could do is hold down the shift key and let it grow from the outside in. Now that might not be a perfect ellipse, but we're going to make ours perfect. You know, there are two trains of thought here, how to get this thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and take a rectangle about the size of our line. You know, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and make that line. So I'm going to just expand that line out to there. And because we're actually going to use that line as a reference to that circle. So let's make this line a little bit thicker. So we're at 0 0.208. Let's make it 0 0.20 or 221. Point two, well, that I was making it. So I'm going to undo my ratio and make it 0.22. So we're really close to that line, 0.23. I'm trying to get right on that circle. Because that's going to be a, a factor, kind of, the way I do things. So we need to go a little bit bigger. Let's go 0.24. So now we're really in there. What I'm going to do is I've got my line selected. I'm going to shift select my ellipse. I'm going to control G to group it for just a second. And then I'm going to control D to duplicate it. And then while holding down the, the control button, I'm going to mirror it. And then I'm going to take that box and I'm going to have these two nodes snap to each other right there. This way our circles for exactly where they need to be. For just a second, we're going to move our graphic out of the way, which is really easy because of the fact that it's pretty big. And there's basically our shape. So we're going to take our virtual sigma delete key and delete this part of the line. Whoop. So I wasn't really quite big enough. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's take this. You know what we can do? Uh, Let's ungroup everything. Control U. And my nudge factor is set still low, but we want them to be symmetrical. So I'm going to get the ellipse and I'm going to go one, two, three. Get the bottom one go up. One, two, three. Now let's see if we can't delete these lines. Well, we're still not there. So let's go one more. Take our ellipse and go down one, two, let's go twice, and then up twice. That surely should stop that line from, there we go. That's what we needed. Now we don't really need the circles, but now we're going to use a smart fill tool. I'm actually going to turn my indexing lines off and I'm going to get the smart fill tool and let's just use black. And Voila, that's 
pretty close to that dark, if not perfect. Anyway, that's how I would do things. Hope that helped them, and thank you for watching.